So imagine this, you visit your doctor and you walk out with a prescription for Carvedalol. Now, you're curious and you want to know more about this medication. Or maybe you have been taking it for a while and wonder if there is more to learn about this medication. Well, you are in the right place. Carvedalol belongs to a drug class known as beta blockers. Simply put, beta blockers work by blocking certain chemical signals in your body that can increase your heart rate. Additionally, they help widen blood vessels, making blood flow easier and reducing the pressure on your heart. It is commonly prescribed for conditions such as high blood pressure, heart failure and other heart conditions. Even though Carvedalol can be a game changer for many, it comes with some unwanted side effects. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some side effects that come along with taking Carvedalol. The rest of the family here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Number one, slow heart rate. One of the most common side effects of taking Carvedalol is bradycardia, which means a slow heart rate. This happens because Carvedalol impacts the heart's natural pacemaker, leading to slower heartbeats. Essentially, Carvedalol blocks the beta receptors in the heart, which are responsible for increasing your heart rate. You see, by blocking these receptors, your heart does not receive the speed-up signal from adrenaline. As a result, your heart beats more slowly and with less force. This process helps to lower blood pressure and reduce the heart's workload, which is particularly beneficial for people with heart failure and other heart conditions. However, while this can help manage certain heart conditions, it can also cause side effects like fatigue, lightheadedness, and even fainting if your heart rate gets too low. Now, you may ask, how can I tell if I have bradycardia? Well, in adults, bradycardia is typically defined as a resting heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute. So it's important to talk to your healthcare provider if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. They can determine whether your dose needs to be adjusted or if you should switch to a different medication. Number two, dizziness. Carvedalol is known for causing dizziness. In fact, up to 6% of Carvedalol users experience dizziness. So why does this happen? Well, as we all know, Carvedalol lowers blood pressure, but sometimes it can cause your blood pressure to drop too much and reduce blood flow to the brain, especially when you stand up quickly. This condition is known as orthostatic hypotension, which simply means that when you stand up, your blood pressure drops, make you feel dizzy or lightheaded. You see, your body needs a moment to adjust and get blood flowing back to your brain. This is why you might feel dizzy, especially when you first start taking the medication or increase your dose. Now, to deal with this side effect, take things slowly when transition from sitting to standing, hold on to something if needed, and stay hydrated. Fortunately, the dizziness usually goes away after your body gets used to the medication. Number three, fatigue. Feeling unusually tired or weak is another frequent complaint among Carvedalol users. And here's why. Since this medication works by blocking better receptors, which are not just in your heart, but also in your muscles and other tissues throughout your body. So when Carvedalol blocks these receptors, it does not just slow down your heart, it can also reduce the overall energy levels in your muscles. This side effect is often more noticeable when we first start taking this medication. Now, the good news is, much like dizziness, most people find that this fatigue gradually decreases as their body adjusts to the medication. Think of it like starting a new workout routine. At first, your muscle feels sore and exhausted. But as you keep going, your body adapts. Similarly with Carvedalol, 
your body often gets used to the medication and the tiredness becomes less noticeable. Number four, edema. Edema or swelling, particularly in the ankles and feet, is another bizarre side effect of carvedilol. This happens because carvedilol can cause fluid buildup in your tissues. You see, when carvedilol relaxes your blood vessels, it also affects the way fluids move throughout your body. Your blood vessels are more relaxed, so they hold more blood, and this can cause fluid to leak out into the surrounding tissues, leading to swelling or edema. This excess fluid accumulates in the tissues, causing noticeable swelling, especially in the lower extremities, due to gravity. So what can you do if you are experiencing edema while you're taking carvedilol? Well, here are a few tips. Elevate your legs, wear compression socks, and stay active. For instance, simple exercises like walking can help keep your blood moving and reducing swelling. Number 5. Weight Gain you may find it surprising that a heart medication like carvedilol can cause weight gain, but it's actually quite common. Carvedilol can cause fluid retention and an increase in body fat, leading to noticeable weight changes over time. Fluid retention, also known as edema, contributes to an increase in weight as your body holds more water. Now, fluid retention is not the only reason. Carvedilol can also slow down your metabolism and reduce your energy levels, making you less active and leading to an increase in body fat. That's why it's important to keep an eye on your weight regularly and discuss any significant changes with your healthcare provider to ensure that your treatment plan is properly managed. Now, in addition to the side effects already mentioned, it is worth noting that other potential side effects of carvedilol include low blood pressure, which can make you feel lightheaded or dizzy. Not only that, but some people may experience blurry vision, making it hard to see clearly. And on top of that, you may also experience stomach discomfort, including diarrhea and nausea. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors to a healthier and happier you. Thanks for watching.